Uganda Revenue Authority that has been put to a task to explain how their budget increased beyond what was approved by for expenditure by Parliament. The Auditor General's report indicates that the authority spent 34 billion shillings, more than the 534 billion shillings allocated to it in the financial year 2021-2022. Legislators of the House, that is Kosasi, were concerned and shocked to hear that 34 billion shillings was carried forward from the previous year. Yeah. The Commissioner General of URA, John Musinguzi, stated that clearance to carry forward the amount was obtained from the Treasury. Point one six billion. I can be corrected by you people if you have a different figure. Now, when that budget was submitted and approved, URA then says we have 34.7 billion which we didn't use the previous year. Finance allow us to add it to our budget to make 568 billion. So our, our challenge here is you plan for 534 billion. Why, why did you not say Okay, the budget that we are forwarding to Parliament is of 568 billion. However, do appropriate 534 because we have a balance of 34.7. So it looks like you realize later that we have this 34.7. Let's find something to do with it, which you had not planned for, because your budget was 534 billion. How then do you get to want to add another 34.7 billion? Because if you, you had need for it, my thinking is you should have planned for it and had it included in your budget. So your budget should have been total 568. So wh what happened there? And then we shall get to the absorption issues. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Now, on as to why we did not have uh, a budget of 568, as you know, Honorable Chair and members, we, every time we present our budget uh, to the Finance Committee of Parliament, the committee and the entire parliament appropriate or give us what is available. And for every financial year, we always have a long list of unfunded priorities. So it's true that we needed much more than what was approved. Uh, but we are given what was available, like all the other entities of government.